Hey guys, welcome back to Just in a Van. My name's Justin and this is my van. For years I slaved in the corporate world trying to find freedom. Until now that is. So I'm heading out to live full time in my van on the road, headed across North America. I'll be documenting the whole thing, just so you can come along for the journey. So make sure to subscribe and enjoy the ride. So I'm back in my van for the first time in about a week, just less than a week. I went home, spent some time with my family. My parents were looking after my niece and nephew for the week, so I thought I'd go spend some time with them. And I just got back into town so I can get back to the grind uh, and getting prepared for hitting the road full time traveling North America. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, on the way home, and in this video you'll see that I stopped off at a solar shop and I picked up two uh, 100 watt solar panels for the roof it came with a 15 foot uh, cable and a 30 amp charge controller so that's something in the next week or two or three I don't want to say for sure because I don't know when I'm going to do it, but uh, in the next uh, few weeks anyways, I'll be uh, adding that to the van. Um, in, the, in this video as well, I do have some clips, uh, nothing too serious uh, or very lengthy, but uh, just some clips from back home. Uh, we took the kids to an Indian River um, reptile zoo, so that was pretty cool. Got to see some crocodiles and things like that. And uh, on the way back, to my hometown, I did stop off at a en route rest stop where you can boondock for free. Um, and it's got a really nice uh, area at the at the back. It's like it, it's pretty much like an RV park. It's it's empty though. There's no hookups, uh, but it's a really cool spot if you want to hang out uh, there for the night on your travels through Ontario. So those. Uh, those on route rest stops are basically on every major highway in Ontario. So you'll want to check those out as well. So, uh, yeah, this week I have to start to hustle um, back to the list of things I got to do. That way I can hit the road and uh, you guys can come along too. So here's uh, some of the clips uh, and I will talk to you guys soon. guys we are just pulling off of the highway 401 and uh, we're pulling into a, what they call en route uh, rest stops so these are basically on pretty much all the major highways uh, throughout Ontario <clears throat> and they got a gas stop and some restaurants and washrooms and things like that and they got free Wi-Fi here uh, but they do put a limit of two hours. So I, I bypass the regular parking where you go and go to the restaurants and stuff like that. So for boondocking, for free boondocking, 
there's all this area back here that uh, you're more than welcome. There's an RV right there. But you can just park yourself back here. There's some RVs over on this side. The only downfall about that is that uh, you got these transports which are very loud. Uh, now what is cool about en route uh, rest, rest drops, rest stops, bleh, is some of them have a cool spot like down here. So if you're adventurous, you can actually boondock down in these little camp-like areas, which would be a lot, a lot more quiet. There's no hookups or anything like that, but uh, this is pretty cool for a rest stop. A rest stop. And you'll notice they have like large pads for uh, large RVs. We got some porta potties. You do have some uh, families having some picnics. some folks from Colorado another uh, family out having uh, some din din well let's uh, see if we can find a spot to park bunch of more families down there Alright, so here's a cool little spot. Got yourself a picnic table, some garbage. So here I have uh, in the box two 100, or 100 watt solar panels. And it came with a kit. It's got the charge controller. And the uh, and the cables as well. So that's just a uh, quick update to let you know what I have in store in my upcoming videos. I'll be installing the solar panel and getting all that worked out.